The superintendent tells me more than one school in Middletown uses timeout rooms as a form of calming children down who pose a risk to themselves or others. But the idea worries parents as well as the Office of the State Child Advocate who has launched an investigation into this practice. The learning process never stops as some parents at Middletown's Farm Hill Elementary are discovering. I didn't know they existed. I think it's terrible. Um, I really think that the parents need to, to band together. This some, it should be something that is gotten rid of. Jean Connolly is referring to what fellow parents are calling the scream room. School officials call it the timeout room, a place for students with behavioral problems to calm down. But some parents aren't calm about the technique, just angry. Jean's second grade son Nicholas saw the policy practiced. I just saw the kid looking through the window and kicking the door and a girl in front of it. If we did this in our own homes, we would be, you know, DCF would can't be knocking on our door and taking our children, but the schools are doing it, that's not right. Superintendent of Schools Dr. Michael Frechette didn't want to go on camera, but he did invite me inside his office to talk about this issue. And actually, he says he's come up with an action plan on how to handle behavioral issues here at Farm Hill Elementary. Some of the plan includes making the part-time psychologist full-time, bringing in a behavioral technician to work directly with children to address behavioral needs, and widening the support of the Family Resource Center for students and families through the fifth grade. Parents applaud the new ideas as long as the old one goes. Doesn't seem like a good thing to me. You know, I don't know if the kids are being looked after. Officials say a child's safety is paramount. Still, Jean remains worried. He heard through the grapevine that they had to clean up blood and urine after the fact. But that one particular child was in there for quite some time. Now, a PTA meeting will be held tomorrow night regarding this issue. Meanwhile, we did hear from the State Department of Education. They tell us they are looking into allegations related to the timeout rooms, although has no prior complaints. In addition, state law allows school districts to use timeout for students with a disability but it can only be used after an agreement between professionals and the parents of the child. We're live in News 8 Control. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.